Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying Palermo's Primo Thin Ultra Thin Crust 5 Cheese Pizza. It says uh, 290 calories per third pizza, so they're really promoting that lower calories. Uh, 14 grams of protein, 26 grams of carbs. This was $8.49 at Publix. So, there's not a pull tab, but it was really easy to open. So, five cheese pizza. It says baking instructions. Uh, for safety, follow these cooking instructions. Do not thaw pizza or eat pizza without baking. Uh, remove pizza from all packaging. Ingredients may have shifted. So, in other words, you may have to move things around a little bit. Uh, preheat oven to 450, place frozen pizza directly on center rack, and then bake for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, really, there's you can't move it around much because... It's frozen. Yeah, you can a little bit, but not really. I'm going to leave it just like it is. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like it is. We're going to bake it for 15 minutes, and then we'll be back. So, this pizza was in for the full time. And some people might think this is overdone for them. To us, this looks like heaven. This looks wonderful. So it says, Palermo's Primo Thin, the mindful pizza. Crispy, ultra thin crust, full of flavor, perfectly balanced bite. Uh, it's one third of the pizza, 123 grams, it's 290 calories. You can eat this entire pizza for 880 calories. So that's only uh, 440 for each, uh, for half. For half. Uh, so a lot of people would eat the entire pizza. We, I've mm -hmm. eaten, like I've had pizzas, we've reviewed pizzas where my portion is over. 880 oh, calories. Easily. So I've had them over a thousand calories. So uh, this is a really good uh, calorie count. The five cheeses, uh, it says part skim mozzarella, white cheddar, provolone, parmesan, romano, and it has a zesty marinara sauce. All right. The sauce is a little hot. So. Okay. It's not quite blister your mouth, but it's good. It's close. Back to flavor, it's got some um, seasoning in the sauce. I like the the bottom. It's toasty. It's toasty. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I do like the bake on that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you don't uh, if you don't want yours that dark. Don't go that long in the oven. We do like that. The uh, the thing about it, you would think that we would get a lot of Palermo's in our area. Uh, we don't. Hmm. We had to go to Publix to get this. Publix in Louisville, Kentucky. So, I'm wondering when Publix opens in Lexington, they're supposed to open two locations. Will they have this? I hope so. Yeah. I hope they will have Palermo's. And I'm wondering why. Why is that? Why don't all the stores around here have Palermo's? Um, I like the flavor of this. The, the sauce has a, a decent seasoning to it. There, you can actually taste it. Um, it's not like super like spicy or really strong seasoning mm -hmm. or anything like that. Um, the cheese is nice. It has a thinness to it, but it's it's got a little bit of a chew to it. Um, Good and crispy crust. And there's nothing to hate about it. It's not my favorite cheese pizza, but for the calories that you have, it kind of trades off, you know? So so my favorite cheese pizza is a lot higher calories. But um, but this is good for the calories that you get. Mm-hmm. No, I agree. Mm -hmm. This is one that you can eat, and you don't have to... If you're a type of person who feels bad about your calories, right. you don't have to feel bad about no. this. That, it is plain enough to where I would probably put some nature seasoning on there just to spice it up a bit. Uh -huh. Make it a little bit more garlicky or something. See, I would not. Yeah, I no. would not. I don't feel For like... For me, it, I want a little bit more salt or something on there. I think it has plenty. Um, I, I, I really taste the tomato sauce. I taste the cheese. I like the, the crust, how crispy it is. It's, it's like a cracker. Um, yeah, it's very crunchy. 
It's course, crunchy. For the one who baked it, it, it would be a little crunchy. Yeah, it will be crunchy. Uh, but for me, I have said with other pizzas, I have said I feel like I need to add something to it. This, I think it's perfect just the way it is. Yeah. So and I, I like and it. I will add a little more seasoning to you it. You will. Yeah. yeah, for me, I won't add anything to it, and I'll enjoy it completely. And if you don't know, Palermo's makes Scream and Cecilia. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the same uh, company. Um, so that's why it surprises me that we don't get Palermo's mm -hmm. is because we get all kinds of screaming to see yeah. it. But you know, every store is limited in what, the, you know, they, they don't have- so much space. Yeah, they only have so much space. But even when we traveled to Jungle Gems in Ohio, yeah, they, didn't have they didn't have Palermo's either. So mm -hmm. it was weird to go into Publix and it's like, oh, they have all kinds of them. Mm -hmm. So- yeah, And they had more than the ones we bought. Right, so we bought this one. We also bought another one that we'll be reviewing. But yeah, they had more for us to try at a later date. We just, we could only buy so many at that time. So uh, you'll have to let us know if you've had this one in particular, what do you think of it? I personally like it. I, I really, I think for the calories and sure. um, I think for the calories and the flavor, I think it's a good pizza. Yeah, I think it's good. It just needs some more spice. Right. <laughs> so, more seasoning. Uh, I'll have pictures for you at the end and thanks for watching.